so guys it's really simple so this is our default cube select the cube press x and delete shift plus a mesh let's add a plane tap to edit mode press s to scale tap to object mode shift plus a mesh let's add a cube tap to edit mode numpad one for front view bring it up this will be our projector skin so let's scale it press s to scale then press on x to scale only on x axis now move the mouse so why we are using a cube where we can easily use a plane as a projector skin because we need some thickness in our object or we may face problem with png files and transparent videos like avi which contain the alpha channels so that's why we are using an object which have some thickness so let's give it proper shape I think our projector skin is done so tap to object mode now go to material preview our next step is to add a light source shift plus a light point light let's move it up go to object data properties select the spotlight now go to render properties change from EV to cycle let's change the max sample to 32 for fast real-time preview and the max sample to like 256 now select the light let's rotate it so that it face the screen press 3 to side view seems like it's ok now go to object data properties again then click on use notes select the light and go to shading tab click on add then search for image texture click on open and search for the image you want to project so I am using the arc survival evolved logo connect the output color to the emission color let's give it some space let's go to render preview seems like there is nothing here go to edit preference add-on then search for node then enable node wrangler check this box then click on here and save preference now select the image texture node then control plus T go to texture coordinate node change from UV to normal then add image texture change from repeat to clip select the light go to object data properties reduce the radius increase the power to like 500 seems like we have something here let's position the icon properly at mapping node let's just scale it down suppose you want to use this size but there is some cuts as you can see to increase the spotlight size go to object data properties then you can control it here as you can see as you can see that our picture is sharp suppose you want some blur so for that you can change the radius as you can see you can control the blurness here now the last part shift plus a mesh let's add a cube tap to edit mode press numpad 1 for front view let's bring it up and cover the room where is our projector so guys as you can see that our cube is covering the whole area of the projector system that means light and the projector screen now tap to object mode let's go to render preview select the cube go to material tab then click on this plus icon then new let's name it noise now select the principal bsdf press x to delete it now click on add then search for principal volume now connect the principal volume output to the material output volume and decrease the density to like 0 0.1 let's go to camera view view navigation work navigation don't worry about the noise we have two light source let's select the other light and disable it from render let's click on render render image let's see what we have so guys as you can see that we have our perfect projector effect so thank you guys see you on the next tutorial